Hi, it's John. I've just been listening to an interview of John Lennon by Radio 1, and he's got Yoko Ono with him as well. And uh, it's a very open interview. And in a way, it it, it sort of um, lays a lot of ghosts, ghosts to rest. And he seems to be wanted to be open, um, you know, for a long time from from the facts that he says in the interview, you know, like when they were in the in the bed, you know, he just gave the reporters free access to them so they could ask whatever they wanted, so almost exhaust their questions because, you know, the media is so fascinated by celebrity and rather than give them a 10-minute interview, you know, just be here as long as you want to. One of the attractions about John Lennon is his extrovert side um <clears throat> i get the feeling that there's less extroverts than introverts in society and people are naturally attracted or some people are naturally attracted to extroverts but the thing that fascinated me was it, about five minutes into the interview John turns to Yoko and says, Oh, am I talking with an American accent? Well, and he was a bit. Um, and Yoko says, Oh, no, no. And then, then he sort of more turns the more Liverpool, tries to be more Liverpool. And accents tell you a lot about people, don't they? And. In a way, we can't do much about them. And the accent adapts to different situations you're in. And to me, the accent isn't the self. The accent is almost like the body, you know, like the body is not the self. And, you know... I've been thinking quite a bit about the idea of higher self, and I'm very sceptical about the idea of higher self. Um, he has gone on high. <laughs> um, but things like accent, you know that you are not your accent. And, and there's something deeper within you that you're just trying to express, if you are trying to express something deeper <laughs> and not just I mean obviously a lot of the time we're just actors aren't we and that's fair enough you know it's okay uh, you know life is a drama um, but uh, you haven't uh, often one doesn't have a choice about uh, how one says something and it's always very revealing when someone's in a very broken down situation and the accent that they they revert to and it might be one that goes back years and years um but uh and, and obviously john wanted to uh, uh, he wanted to be associated with liverpool rather than america um but it doesn't matter to me whether whether he had an american accent or a liverpool accent I mean, I just think he, he was a, a wonderful example of a human being, you know, not <laughs> nowhere near perfect. I mean, much more, less perfect than perfect, you know what I mean? I mean, he had more more demons than um, than angels, if you like. Uh, but uh, just exploring this idea of accent, really, and the um, the thought that we, we are not our accents and we are not our bodies... You know, it's almost evidence for a soul. But of course, when you get to the idea of soul, then you think um, you think the soul is eternal, and then that that throws up another another great problem about uh, the location of the soul and and um, eternity and things like that. But I'm not talking about eternity. I'm just talking about the self, really, the self in the here and now. Right. Bye for now.